all right what is up everybody we are back it is wednesday i think and hope because that's what we're streaming for today um we having a good week uh music's loud yeah 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 i yeah. hope everybody else is having a good week we are um kind of all over the place we're in art mode so we're just kind of creating and drawing right now um so things might be off i'm not sure everything seems to be checking out looks good sounds good feels good so that's kind of um where we're at today we're just uh drawing doodling sketching uh ivy's coming out final touches I'm not gonna do them on stream don't want to give it away i kind of like the reveal uh comic book shadows and salvations is underway as well um we're finishing i guess a page and a half right now and placing uh the panels around um painting behind me another painting coming soon finishing up final marks and i think that's all prints coming soon patreon just launched check that out i had to put that link on my link chain link is definitely in the description though um special print if you subscribe before 420 and sticker packs and much more coming soon I'm trying to think if there's more updates, but I don't think there is. So maybe we just get right into the drawer, right? Why not? Today we're going to do a little bit of sketchbook work. I kind of forget what the thumbnail was. I'm not sure if the thumbnail said sketchbook. I don't think it did. I think it was just... Um, let's draw plants. Because that's what we're doing. We are drawing plants. It was going to be the sketchbook. And now we're going to do it kind of a little differently. I think it's the exact same size actually just about it might be like a inch smaller yeah might be a little bit smaller actually then. but yeah we're gonna do it on watercolor paper just kind of sketching having fun relaxing for the day um this is related to our ivy piece which we're finishing and resolving and we're wanting to just kind of put in a couple plants so we did that we spent a lot of time doing that so that's kind of where this fun idea came from just gonna kind of draw a fun little image um go from there going on here a headphone pulled my uh... I don't know what that was either way um yeah we're gonna kind of aim for a couple plants aim for a loose style aim for pencil ink watercolor we're gonna see what happens um but yeah again this is kind of sketching studying like I said it was gonna be actually in a sketchbook but I kind of uh oh We are running out of lead here. Uh, I have more somewhere. I don't know where, though. We have enough for today. Enough for today. So, let's just get into it. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to go till 4 today. We might only go till 3. We have Ariel's birthday tomorrow. So that's fun. So we are also expecting a lot of gifts and other stuff. Um, so there might be more breaks than usual, which is kind of annoying. Felt a little dark on uh, stream there. So that was better. Um, all right. Either way. It's a lot of chatting for an art stream, you know? Let's see. What do we want first? What do we want first? The hardest part of plants, personally, are always the cylinders, right? Um, let's see how we want to lay this out, though, right? We want one here... One here. I don't want it to be too small. I already forgot what this was supposed to be. Okay. This has to kind of be like that then. Of 
Probably pull that down a little bit, but this can kind of be here. This is uh, easy. We'll see how it goes. Just like this. Just all big shapes, right? That's kind of what it starts as. And um, then we'll go from there. Thing in one, two. The Monstera's fun. Do a little bigger here. The bots here. A little balloon tree. All right, I definitely want this bad boy. I don't know if this is, um, I don't know if we do this one blooming or not. No one seems to do it blooming. I wasn't gonna have them overlap, so we'll see if I move this at all. I don't know if I want them overlapping necessarily, right? I do like this pothos, but I don't know if I want to draw that. I definitely want this side to have uh, our fig here. Always hiding. Erasers are always hiding when you need them, right? So we don't want this. Kind of like this. So maybe we just move this a little um, and kind of drop it. That's why you always sketch, start sketching light. Especially if you're laying um, out the composition, the figure, whatever you're doing at the beginning. The best thing you can do is just kind of go in nice and light. Right? Then it's just basic shapes is all I'm trying to do. Nothing, not even almost working, trying to work recognizable at this point, right? Um... I'm, I'm almost looking for the most abstract of shapes that are going to make the process a just a little bit, even if it's 1% easier. Like for the monsteras here, let's see. These, the leaves are, are obviously very complicated, which, obvi okay, not obviously, but they kind of go like this, and then they have these breaks here, right? So it's, it's going to look something like that. I'm not going to do every leaf like that to start. I might not do every leaf like that at all, but ultimately, like I said, I'm going to start with the pot here and you're going to bring it down. And what I'm going to do, like I said, it almost looks like a tree of balloons. I'm going to just make them circles for now, right? You can kind of make them little ovals, if you like, kind of like heart shapes almost. But my brain sees circles and then I can chop into the circles, right? And so I have one here, this one overlaps here, which I like. Big one in front. It's underneath here. And so by doing it like this, right, I can get the layering, I can get the placement. And you can 
kind of go in and shape them a little bit if you really want. But what you're doing is just allowing yourself to see the whole image, right? See if you even like it. But again, this has a cool little overlap here. We'll put in perfect. Kind of right above there. Sure, it might be a little bit high. We'll move it over just a little. And then this one kind of comes here and fills in right here. So again, yeah, it's kind of pretty, like I said, they're just circles almost, but um, we'll shape them into leaves as we uh, get into the specifics and add details uh, along. But that to me is more than um, sufficient. Like I said, I'll keep kind of tweaking it and you can get a little bit more specific. I want to make sure this one comes over this leaf here. Uh, let's go back here it's because this pot looks too big. There. This could have even been bigger to be honest, but I think that also just lets me fit um, a couple more here. But let's do this while we're here. Because this space can come lower. Our favorite tool in the whole world. Yes, it's an electric eraser. You've never felt so comfortable to sketch in your life as when you have one of these. Bug one in my nose, but we'll forget that for now. I want the pot here, but I want it to come out like here, actually. Make that all work there. This one's lower here. All right. Um. Let's see. So here we have this. snake plant so snake plant's actually gonna be tough because there's so many different um twists to it right and i want it lower already i don't want it that high which is tough because i actually was liking the marks but that's okay we want a little pot like right here, and we want it like this. So same thing. Um, I should be doing 
more shapes and I'm probably going to screw myself here because I'm not. But kind of going in right with some folds all right away. I'm just having fun with the, the shape of the snake plant. I really like snake plants. And um, they kind of are just fun leaves. They fold and twist, right? Kind of pointy, foldy, twisty leaves. So they're not necessarily easy to draw, but you can kind of have fun with them, right? At least I think so. This is a tiny little guy we want here. It's gonna come out here. Which one do I see? I kind of, we kind of lose it here. We don't really see this, um, but it does come to the side here like this. So taller, and you kind of see a triple twist here, okay? Not that tall. So see, that's it's kind of rough there, but we'll make it work. But that's not necessarily how. Um, that's very much more how I kind of work through things, where I kind of just put put marks down, right? Instead of focusing on on shapes all the time. Um, sometimes my big focus is just getting sh marks on the paper, and correcting. It's not better, it's just uh, different. are not to scale <laughs> I could have made him like all oh, I probably should have So this very much goes back to our um, Poison Ivy piece where we, we just really like sketching on paper, right? Digital art is so fun, but there's something f so loose and organic about sketching and figuring it out just on paper, to me at least. Not having that undo button is is obviously again not a struggle but different but it's just i don't know i feel like you get better art when you work through it instead of that quick undo 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 i always feel like it, i find myself just undoing and fixing 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 versus trying to finish sometimes out here like it Thought there was gonna be a second. Um, all right, I want to check some of my other plans here. Definitely want to get the rubber plant. 
I like that fig. Where's, okay, I do have a rubber plant there. I like this one though, all right, go. We had the rubber plant here. I mean, we had the ZZ Top. It's not ZZ Top, but it, that's what it's the plant. Um, and I almost want to put. Uh, little baby money tree. <laughs> uh, we can fit a cacti. actually a fun one to have right underneath it's cool but jade's pretty good too actually but that's gonna kind of look like the rubber plant i would think not really actually at all it shouldn't <laughs> um all right let's see yeah i don't really want them perfectly lined up but i guess It's like a buzzing in this song. We found a bee yesterday and I was hearing it like buzzing for a while. And now that's all I feel like it is. Very confusing. I don't like it. Yeah, I saved a bee yesterday that was drowning. It was cool. I think it was a queen bee actually. Because we had found it buried. Pretty sweet. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Let's see, we want that here. This is gonna go like this, right there. Perfect. Something there. I'm also thinking something here, but let's stay focused. <laughs> oh, we have our yucca. Perfect. That's literally what is born to go here. I mean, that might be the easiest one to do, too. Yeah. 
So again, I am thinking of composition, right? That's sort of what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm trying to design the whole, the, the drawing and what's going to fit, what's going to work, what's going to look right or good or better. Tray, like trays on them yet i don't think so maybe some we'll see cool 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 oh uh, where's this one all right so this comes here i'm not gonna put this i'm actually gonna put this right in because i almost have like Different halves here. There, cool. I just wanted to get one of those specific, and then let's see. It kind of goes up to this. You can see the trunk disappears behind said leaf. Where's that leaf? It's right here. Okay, so now we have this right here. This comes out. And it kind of just keeps curving, actually. Does it go like, yeah, it goes to the right or down. And then we can pull it back. You can kind of drop it down here. you doing man head down today looking so luxurious long hair don't care happy wednesday big doll you know i gotta let it out sometimes let the flow breathe Good man, just wanted to pop in for a few. Feel like I come through here first and then switch the commercials. I love it. Give that double channel buff. How's your Wednesday going, bro? We over here just drawing plans. We're doing some plant studies because our poison ivy piece is coming out very nicely and we want to have. Um, 
believable p plants. Even if it's sketched. So, we're uh, studying how plants work. Much like an artist would. So I'm told. Very funny study. Oh, yeah. You never know. Never know what kind of art you're going to get around here. I'll tell you that much. Plus, I love plants. A little bit off. We'll fix that. <laughs> um, what did we do here? What did we put? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, let's see. We have this. This little stone. Yeah, it's a very funny song to start playing when I'm drawing cacti. Ha! Like it knew. Nice relaxing study day, you know? It's kind of what we're doing today. Just just drawing. Just doing the work. Putting in the reps, if you will. Oh no. No, they're not to scale at all. I guess they could be any size, technically, right? They're like to scale with each one, but not next to each other. I mean, I guess that could be a huge cactus. Why not? Sure. All right. I don't love that money tree. Might be the only one I have a picture of. I think it is. Pachira Aquatica. It's a great name, though. That and Money Tree are, like, just great names. Money trees are hard. This is going to be a very loose money tree here. They're not hard, but they're... Um, their leaves are dope, and they're dense. So, we'll uh, see what we can make of this here.
Oops, sorry. Forgot I was on stream. <laughs> yeah, I work very differently not on stream. <laughs> Sometimes I forget here. So what I'm trying to do is section this off, right? So I kind of feel there's like almost a canopy in a money tree where like the bottom portion. Um, I have nowhere I can draw. It's almost like, the, yeah. well, it's almost like this bottom portion and then there's the middle portion and then there's like this top that's getting all the light, right? So that's kind of the goal here. Again, a big part of this study is that I, I want to continue simplifying, right? Everything you do that's complicated art wise, the more studies you do, the more you notice how you can simplify or, or use not even less marks, but more efficient marks, right? So it's like anything. I, um, I go back and forth between just full art uh, final pieces and then you have to practice. You just have to. Or I personally feel like I have to. I don't know. Sometimes what you're working on isn't like keeping you loose, right? It's such a different process. And that's why this was going to be in a sketchbook, actually. But again, I kind of figure that the watercolor paper is going to be more fun. Uh, we'll break out the Genzai Tembe and run through with some quick washes, right? one more because i mean two more because we need an odd number um our brain just likes odd numbers i have no further statement for why Big trees are kind of, again, another one that's like very, almost like a stereotypical leaf, right? Like you can kind of get away doing like the, <laughs> and it'll almost look right. They're bent a lot more, like there's a lot more movement to actual fig leaves, but um, you can kind of cheat around it. Very healthy fig tree with leaves all the way down to the bottom.
like wraps around the trunk of the tree. fun trees actually to draw it's a cool leaf actually see there's there's a lot you learn i.e. how far um, a leaf sort of extends from the branch the um proper ratio like not ratio but sizing and all that right and then um and again just different ways leaves fold and you all of a sudden are like oh wait i can kind of just fold this over and it looks like a leaf you know um uh, that's all big reasons why you kind of just have to keep drawing and studying all the time it's like anything there's any there's no profession that you can kind of just turn off once you've made it i don't even mean made it but like even when you're doing it like there's no such thing as like okay i've studied enough now i don't have to think about it it's like, oh. fortunately that never happens <laughs> athletes always practice the basics even professionals i mean you're still taking layups as an nba player You can practice, you know, different things, of course, accordingly. But uh, the basics, call the basics for a reason. So cliche. Yeah. It's true, though. One more, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna need one more. I was trying to think if I could remove one almost. like a pothos would fit
Um. Oh, an asparagus fern. We just bought an asparagus fern. I was gonna do a Boston fern. I feel like an asparagus fern might be a little tough here. Let's um let's see if we can fit a small one here. Same height, though. I just need a little lower. I guess I can just do that. That's way better. Yeah, fuck yeah. And then this goes right here. All this just has to come down a little bit, yeah. 
It's okay. This one will come to life when you add uh, color, right? Color and texture. It's a tough one to kind of show. Um, similar to the Monstera, I suppose. better drawer in here then we'll be right on time for a quick break we'll come back and um just quickly add some color here kind of have fun with the project Kind of layering here now that I like the shape I have, right? And you're just looking for shapes. All I'm doing. See what this is giving us is this inside this part and right into this. So it's showing that there's more like there's a body to the plant, right? 
not really similar, but almost how we were talking about um, when we were talking about our hands the other day, where a lot of times you, you get a wrist to fingers and you miss the palm. This is kind of the same thing where when you have a plant and you just go leaves, right? You need there to be a plant that the leaves come off of almost. Even these, they're kind of coming. See, like if I just went like this, it needs like a, a body of the plant. Pretty cool. Hey, got butterfingers all day today. That's a fun start. All right. We're going to take a quick five minute break. We're come back. We're going to add uh, watercolor to it. And um, I guess, are we going to use gouache? We might be using gouache, to be honest. I'm not sure. Um, we'll grab our watercolor and see. But yeah, we'll probably end up using gouache, to be, to be perfectly honest. And really just try to mix up our colors. Um, but five minute break. Please smash that like and subscribe down below. Really helps the channel. We're going to add color to this when we get back. And, uh, yeah, appreciate the support. Much love, gang.
All right, let's get it. I don't really know what I want to use here, to be honest. Um, I don't know if I want to use gouache or the Genzai Tembe watercolors. Part of me wants to use gouache because that's what I'm using for the, um, that's what I'm going to do. Again, that's what I'm using for, um, what's your face? Poison Ivy. So it makes sense to me to use the same thing. Right? Uh, oh boy. Uh oh. There's nothing. All right, so let's see where we at. What do we got? We got brushes, pencils, and paints. So we're not gonna go in with pen and ink yet. We're going to color them first. Let's see, but we have to make sure we are ready for the entire color job. I think we are. So each time before we color, we'll do a little con confirmation sketching, right? Bridge around this one, perfect. Okay. This has, I have one stock here. I have one stock here. Comes out. Perfect, perfect. It actually goes like this. And then there's another one here. There is that little space. It's like two here. Okay. Comes up. Same thing. These are kind of going everywhere. Here, like that. Kind of looks like almost like a pineapple. I'd have some that curve up actually here, right? quite that tall but we'll uh just kind of chop it back there all right uh let's see is the snake plant on here i don't think it is so we have our rubber plant confirmation let's check I'm gonna make the bowl a little bigger like that not as yeah it has to be like here perfect uh, let's see, rubber tree. Okay. Uh, kind of comes closer here. I can actually see. Beautiful goes there. God. Dizzy.
I'm I'm redrawing it because as I sketch it all smudges and now I'm redrawing it this way hopefully gonna be the last sketch and no smudging right They're gonna sneeze again now. All right, perfect. Now we need the snake plant. Oh, so if this. That is not right, but we'll fix it. <laughs> I don't know why my nose is all over the place right now. It's wild. that completely but I am gonna completely redraw it why that's such a difficult part it's so weird um all right well monsteras are here it's perfect we can have what one two three four one two four So, do we think it'll be easier to just put white out in after? It might be. Almost what I was thinking of doing anyway, which is, I was like, I feel like it'll just work better to kind of, again, just chop away at the circles.
On stairs are a little trickier than I thought they were they were would be. Don't know. Tricky's not the word. Um Brain exercise. Ing. Is that a word? It is now. Plum surprised. Is that a saying? I feel like it is. She really like how that uh, is looking so far. Yeah, that looks dope. It has to be a little bit more like that. Yeah. I kind of forgot about this part, obviously.
I feel like now I just need to go through with uh, a little baby eraser. you're gonna end up um working on learning like improving upon you really just don't know until you kind of just keep working and, and just improve on everything There's my favorite art tool just at work. Like I told you, these things are just awesome. There's close like a like a whiteout pen comes for a uh, pencil or charcoal, right? I feel like, cause you can kind of just get the perfect little marks. Not even perfect little marks, the easy little marks, right? That just change the piece. Again, sometimes they're very loose, rough marks, but um, because it's such a tiny little eraser, you can get in and really change shapes pretty dramatically. Is that? I don't know where it is. Oh, I found it. Perfect. The cacti is pretty damn close already, actually.
that one's easy. A nice little stone pot here. Barber say next. <laughs> I used to love that one. He's used that for pickup basketball. If anybody's wondering, I used it a lot. It is a good line, though. <laughs> Feel free to use it. Has to be a little longer, yeah. Yeah, it just had to be a little bit lower. The hardest course.
close, but there's something weird about it. Uh, I think it just has to be a little bit more rounded because the whole um, face is rounded, right? Yeah, something like that. And then we'll be able to make it work with highlights. Um, All right, fig tree. The fig tree is money, dude. I almost don't. Yeah, I don't want to do anything to this. I don't have to, so. I guess I'll do the whole fig tree real quick. <laughs> Sometimes that just happens. Boston Fern and Patuus oh Pachira Aquatica where the fern be alright fern needs a little more work than we were hoping Just want to see triangles here. Actually, 
Don't need to see all of these here, but I want to see the three the space. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. This can go here. Yeah. Both. And this the same thing. I want to see that, and then I want to see that. because then there's just a lot of ferns that kind of hang over here. But I want to show this is separate. That's all. Okay with that actually, yeah. Um, we have to fix like this little lip, that's all. Which I guess we can kind of do again with color. And even just block it out here. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I guess we need it to show that it kind of comes through. Beautiful. Last but not least, Pachira Aquatica. Guess we're going right till four today. <laughs> All right, so we kind of have start here. And uh, we're going to kind of just do it in like three layers, right? This is like another twist on the other side, which is interesting. I guess because it's multiple branches, yeah. Kind of just went to the same spot.
clearly that's how wide the pot has to be if i've done it four times it's like a fact right it's proven three times that is a scientific fact at that point Losing it, losing it. I think we're ready for color, that's why. All right, so. 245, let's get a quick splash of color in. Yeah, let's get some color in here. See, color, same way as drawing. We're gonna work uh, left to right. Just avoids smudging if we can help it. Um, all right, first, we're gonna write down here. This little guy. Get a couple different brushes. Rosemary, Etcher Labs, um, anything really, but. You want it to hold its shape and you just want to be um, comfortable with it more than anything. I'm not doing, I'm not going in with this color yet. I am going to kind of start with some darks, um, but I kind of just wanted to see what this looks like here. Little too saturated, right? I just wet the papers so that um, it's a little bit more receptive to my to my paint here. We're kind of using gouache, but um. We're just gonna use it thin, right? We're gonna use it thin, so. 
I don't totally want to just paint on the surface and um, continually layer it in here. Oh, that's all. Oh. It's going to be erasure shavings in it. Looking good, brother man. Thanks, bro. Wish I didn't just get every piece of dust on my desk in it, but what are you going to do? Beggars can't be artists, you know? All right, I think that's the saying. All right, back to it. Um, Let's see. I don't want that red. I don't want this. with it here sorry I can't really hear at the moment no worries brother appreciate you chilling man I hope you're having a good day overall that's all uh, more than anything Same to you, man. Can't complain. Loving it, brother. Loving it, brother. Surprisingly, I do not like this wet surface. Like the gouache is almost bleeding more than it should be. It's actually almost going down a little more difficult. Pretty fascinating there. Music over? What time is it? Feels like that was quick today. I feel like I've gotten three hours a lot of the time from this uh, playlist here.
Doesn't want to go down. It's so weird. gonna move right uh, I guess up there's no point for me to do that to myself I have a very real love hate with my palette. Um, I very much, very, very, very much like it, but I also hate it. <laughs> and the reason for that is that it's only like three chambers, that's all it is. But I really like that about it because it gives a great, um, like mixture to the paints there's kind of always like that i only clean certain parts and there's always like that remnant kind of that's always kind of tweaking the color but i also have to clean it off a lot and i think if i had a little bit better palette it would just lead to crisper colors easier I guess darker here but I also have to make that much darker so
Just putting on more paint real quick. Two seconds. It looks very dark. We have to brighten that bottom right one up a lot. So that we're changing up. Um, and freshening up the palette. Specifically what I was just talking about, right? See, I like the ease of that's all I have to do to clean it. I don't know. It's a nice palette. I do like it. Some more put some nice yellow in there right is um snake plants have a lot of yellow i feel like in their brights Green is also very much one of those colors that um, seems like it should be easy and it's just not. It's a very difficult color to use. Which I know sounds very weird. But it's true.
Kind of using um, this watercolor paper actually as well. The scrap watercolor paper I talked about. I always have a scrap watercolor paper. Um, I always have scrap paper for the most part actually. That I'm checking um, marks and shapes and colors and anything on. But I'm also kind of mixing over here on it as I put a color down, right? Because it works. That's better. Just gotten like way too dark on this side here. Cool.
Where's the rubber tree? Got it. Right. Uh, I'm going to do one more here and then take a quick break. Nice color for the under of it. Definitely. I feel like they have a much shinier sort of um, shinier dark side here. Not that either. Kind of, actually, yeah. There is that shine to it, right? So I kind of want it to be saturated. Yeah. Would be a little too much, too olivey. But I'm also, my brain's kind of bored. Not bored. My brain's tired, I should say. Um, I can just feel that I'm, I need to take a break here. I'm kind of trying to push through to be dumb. No, um, I don't know why. I can feel myself um, like noodling on these leaves, which means I have to take a break.
Sharp. Had to get real close to see that one. Time. I mean, the goal is definitely to finish this today, but much like always, I just work in slow. No, not really at all. Um, just enjoying the process. That's not the right color. All right, break time. I got to think about it. Uh, 320. Um, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here, actually. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, Wednesday, I'm going to keep working here, but I have to do a lot of stuff for Ariel's birthday. So, it's a fun day, but... Appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. We'll be sure to finish this up, post it in Discord, post it on socials, post it all over the place. So be sure to follow and check it out. Link in the description. And until Friday, I hope everybody has an awesome, awesome week. I can't thank you guys enough for the support. Blue, I always appreciate you chilling, chatting, and hanging. And until next time, guys, most importantly, above all, stay healthy and stay happy. Much love, gang.